Today we're gonna to be talking about injectors, specifically Huey injectors for the 7.3 and the 6.0. It's one of the most common questions we get is what size injector should I get? What does 175 versus 190 mean? What does 175.30 versus 205.75? So we're gonna break it down for you guys today so you can better understand what injector size would work best for you. Basic Huey injector, you've got your nozzle size, You've got your body, you've got your electronic coils, you've got where the high pressure oil goes in. So how these injectors work is it fires high pressure oil in the back of the injector and squeezes out the fuel. How this is different than a common rail injector is common rail injectors don't have the high pressure oil. So your low pressure fuel pump fills the injector with fuel and then the high pressure oil fires it out of the injector. This can get a little confusing to talk about sizes and nozzles. So what we're gonna do is use a syringe to explain how an injector works. So the basic general theory is injector fills with fluid. Stock is 135 cc's. Your high pressure oil pounds on the back of the injector and fires the fuel out. See, that's exactly what a Huey injector does. The bottom half fills with fuel, the high pressure oil fires it out. The higher or the more high pressure oil you have, the harder it pushes the fuel out. So that's why ICP is so important is because it's literally pounding the, the fuel out of the injector. So when it comes to a stock injector, you can only hold 135 cc. That's it. No matter what you do to the nozzle size, no matter how much you adjust it, you won't hold more fuel. That's all the fuel that you're going to dump. So people ask, well, what would happen if I put a 30% nozzle, 30% nozzle, bigger nozzle, on a stock injector. The thing is, the injector only holds 135 cc's of fuel. You'll still only push the 135 cc's of fuel out, out of it. You're not gonna gain any power because you're not dumping any more fuel. So someone might ask, well, what's the point of going to a bigger nozzle? What does it do? It helps you to dump more fuel faster. So if you take a stock nozzle versus a 30% nozzle, you fill them up, the 30% nozzle is going to dump faster. It's the simple idea behind the nozzle. So as you start to modify the injector to hold more fuel, you need a bigger nozzle to help it dump faster. So nozzle size becomes very important because you need to be able to dump all the fuel in the allotted time you have. There's a common term that people use that you might not understand. It's pulse width how long the injector is dumping fuel in the cylinder for. On the 6.0 power stroke, a common race tune might be 2.0 to 2.4 milliseconds of pulse width. You cannot dump 205 cc's of fuel with a stock nozzle and 2.4 milliseconds of pulse width. So you might jump up to a 30% or 100% nozzle so you can dump more fuel faster. Well, someone might ask, why don't you just put the biggest nozzle on there possible? Why not put a 100% nozzle on everything? Well, it starts to hurt the bottom end because you're gonna be dumping the fuel too fast. The idle quality might go down, your truck might haze a little more, you might have higher EGTs, especially in the 6.0 power stroke because they're so limited on the pulse width table. So that's why a lot of times when you get a bigger injector, you start noticing more heat, more smoke, more uh, fuel being wasted out the tailpipe. You might notice the idle quality going down. That's because the injector is dumping the fuel faster. Now they can try to change it in tuning, they can dial it in and it helps, but usually stock nozzles are gonna idle great, they're gonna run great down low, lack top end power. The bigger the nozzle you go, the more you're gonna sacrifice bottom end, you're gonna sacrifice idle quality, you're gonna sacrifice towing abilities. Now, tuning helps. There's people that love bigger nozzles, but being in the industry and selling thousands of tunes and thousands of injectors, we see more issues from bigger nozzles down low, but they like the power up top. So someone might ask why we only went to 205 cc's. So on a 6.0 injector, typically the largest you're gonna go on a conventional injector is about 205 cc's. What you're doing is stroking the injector. You're making it so it can hold more fuel by stroking it out and giving it a longer stroke. Well, someone might wanna know what a hybrid injector is. A hybrid would be boring the injector out. So you'd actually make the bore larger to hold more fuel. 
byproduct of that is you have a little lower injection pressure, but you're able to fit a lot more fuel in the injector. Typically 205 is when you start thinking about a hybrid. Some people do 225 conventionals, but generally speaking at 205 cc, you'll go to a hybrid. So if you bore this injector out, you can fit about 250 cc's in the same stroke as a 205 cc injector. That's called a seven mil hybrid. You can also do an eight mil hybrid and an eight and a half mil hybrid. Those are 6.0 uh, hybrid sizes. The 7.3 is a little different, but it's still the same theory, bore versus stroke. Now you've got the basic knowledge of the nozzle size versus how much fuel the injector can hold. But now we get into more specific questions. One of the most common, should I get a 175.30, a 190.30, or a 205.30? And essentially, it's not really that big of a decision because that's just the maximum fuel that you can dump according to your pulse width and nozzle size. So if you get a 20530, but you have a short pulse width, it's gonna run just like a 15530, 17530, 19030. They'll all run exactly the same. The only difference is on an all out race tune at maximum pulse width, you're gonna dump 205 cc's instead of 190 cc's. But that's not gonna dump while idling. It's not gonna dump while driving normal. You're not gonna dump that much fuel under light throttle or even under half throttle. Only at wide open throttle on an all out race tune will a 205.30 run any different than a 190.30. Essentially, a 135.30 would be a stock with a 30% nozzle. 155.30, 175.30, 190.30 and a 205.30 will all run exactly the same. They will tow the same. They will idle the same. They will run the same except at a maximum pulse width race tune at wide open throttle. Even at half throttle on an all out pulse width tune, they're going to run exactly the same. It's one of the biggest misconceptions. A lot of guys say, well, my 190.30s run so much worse than my 175.30s. It was something else. There was something wrong with the injector. There was something wrong with your tuning. Because all you're changing is just that slight amount of fuel the injector can hold. You're still gonna dump the fuel at the exact same speed. The truck's gonna idle the same. It's gonna drive the same. It's gonna accelerate the same. The only difference is if you have enough pulse width in your tune, it's gonna dump slightly more fuel. So I always tell people to go up one number. The 155.30, you might as well just do a 175.30. It gives you a little room to grow. Or 190.30 or 205.30. If there's no disadvantage to going to a 205.30 over a 155.30, except for the slight difference in cost. If you pull fuel through tuning, a 205.30 will run exactly the same as a 155.30, but you can turn the tune up later and you have more fuel in there. It's the same thing in a 7.3 world, 160.30 versus a 180.30, or, or 280 versus a 238.80. They're very, very similar. They're gonna idle the same, they're gonna run the same, but in an all out, maximum pulse with tune, the higher number being the 238.80 is going to dump more fuel than the 205.80. Well, that's our injector video. Just giving you guys basic general knowledge on your body size versus your nozzle size. Make sure to post up in the comments if you guys have any questions.